वेलकम टू एवरीबॉडी ऑन ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ संत माइकल्स अकेडमी ऑफ इंडिया माई से राकेश रंजन श्रीवास्तव साइंस टीचर इन संत माइकल्स अकेडमी ऑफ इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो आई विल स्टार्ट द चैप्टर सोर्सेज ऑफ फूड इट मीन्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ क्लास सिक्स द सोर्सेज ऑफ फूड इन दिस चैप्टर we all is talking about different types of food materials and i think foods are the most important part of every living organism without food nobody can survive so it is also of great importance for all living beings in the starting we all know about what is food the first of the thing what is food what is food this is the important food are the substances which including various types of nutrients it means various types of nutrients present in the substance obtained from plants and animals they are called food now the second thing what are nutrients what are nutrients nutrients are chemical substances present in our and also there are various types of nutrients present in the food now next thing what are the sources of food what are the sources of food there are two important sources of food first is plant and second is animal so we all obtain various types of food from plants and also various types of food from Animals. Now next topic. Part of the why food is necessary for us. How the importance of food. Importance of food. In this part, we are trying to know what are the importance of food. It means foods are essential for us in which way. so the first important thing is food keep us alive and active second thing food provide us various types of energy which are necessary for the completion of various types of chemical activity of the cell our body next food help in the growth of all living organisms and after that food keep us healthy and also help in increasing the immune system of us what is immune system there is a new topic what is immune system immune system is the part of our body which keep us healthy and also always try to fight against microbes and also keep us free from different types of things so we we keep our immune system strong then there is no any problem of us to us next thing food help in repairing the damaged cell and tissue so these are the great importance of food after the importance of food we all try to know about sources of food there are two important sources of food first is called plants and second is called animals it means from plants and animals so we all obtain our food now what are the food substances we obtain from plants first is called cereals cereals what are cereals some grains we all utilize for food as example rice wheat and maize these are called cereals and also they provide our carbohydrate and also give us energy 
After the the second topic, we obtain from plants they are protein. Protein are also important nutrients for our body, and also whole body also prepared by the help of protein. It makes formation of body occurs by the help of protein. Now the example of protein. It is said that calcium are the most important part of protein. It means huge amount of protein we obtain from calcium. After that, meat, fish, egg, and other substances also give us or provide us proteins. Next topic. After protein, we obtain various types of vegetables and fruits. Vegetables and fruits. From plants, we obtain vegetables and fruits. And vegetables and fruits are of great importance in our because they are called protective food and also. Keep us healthy and free from different types of diseases. So we should try to take fruits and vegetables in our daily food. Now the next animals. We obtain various types of food material from animals, and everybody like the food obtained from the animals. Now we take why? Because animal food are more. Nutritious and also there was a high demand of the animal food. Now example of animal food: meat, fish, egg, and also milk. We obtain from animals. So these food materials are highly nutritious. And everybody like this type of food for global growth and also they are nourishing. We all study about the different sources of food. After that, we all study. We obtain food from where? We obtain food from where? This is the most important question. We obtain food from where? So for this question, at first we will try to know that how many types of living organisms. So in general, where we all say we categorize the living organism into two parts: living organisms. First. Autotrophs, autotrophs, and second heterotrophs. There are two types of living organisms: autotrophs and heterotrophs. We will discuss one by one about them. In the study, we all study about autotrophs. The living organisms they prepare their food once. They are called autotrophs. It means plants are the example of autotrophs because they prepare their food once by the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. So all the plants are called autotrophs. Because they prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis with the help of green pigment content inside it. This is called chlorophyll. What is called chlorophyll? By the help of chlorophyll, they prepare their food, and this process is called photosynthesis. Now, next. Next topic: heterotrophs. 
heterotrophs. The living organisms, they have no capacity to prepare their food own self. So they depend on others for their food. So they are called heterotrophs. It means all the living organisms, they depend on others for their food. They are called heterotrophs. Now, on the basis of taking food, these heterotrophs are also categorized into different categories. First, the living organism is in the heterotrophs. Herbivores. Herbivores. Herbivores means all the living organisms present on the earth's surface. They feed only grass and plantation. They are called herbivores. As example, cow, ox, deer. It is. These are the living organisms. They feed only plantation and also grass. So they are called herbivores. Now next, after herbivores, we all study the next carnivores. 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 In this category, all the living organisms pertain. They eat flesh of animals. Flesh of animals. It means all the living organisms, they depend on flesh of animals, are called carnivores. After that, the next topic was omnivores. All the living organisms present on the earth surface. They eat both plants and animals. It means they eat both plants and animals. They are called omnivores. And some example of omnivores. Human beings. Human beings are also called omnivores. Human beings. And also crow. Beer, all are the example of omnivores. So, in this category, we are studying about heterotrophs, autotrophs, and also last omnivores. The next thing is scavengers. There are some categories of living organisms, they are called scavengers. They feed on dead and dead and taking plant and animal. Feed on dead plants and animals. It means scavengers feed on dead plants and animals. These are some category of living organisms. They are also depend on different types of food groups. Now, in this chapter, we are study various types of living organisms and their sources. And also, now I complete my this lecture in this video.